And I want to thank you, Chairman Scott, because you gave me one hour in your office in June to discuss this particular issue, and you were very gracious. My name is Chuck Grassley, and I'm a farmer from Butler County, Iowa. However, son Robin and grandson Pat do most of the work. While this hearing covers all livestock, I want to discuss the reform needed in the cattle industry. Chairman Scott, I appreciate your, your interest in the cattle market reform. When we met earlier this summer to discuss my bill that I have with Senator Tester, Democrat of Montana, you took a keen interest in ensuring that family farmers across the country not only survive, but can make an honest living. Secretary Vilsack, your next witness, knows that cattle producers are struggling. At USDA, Secretary Vilsack is taking steps to expand meat processing industry with grants and loans to address bottlenecks in the food supply chain. Secretary Vilsack has also taken action to support the enforcement of the Packards and Stockyards Act. That's a badly needed move. In addition, President Biden issued an executive order where he called on Secretary of Agriculture to ensure farmers have, quote, measures to enhance price discovery, increase transparency, and improve the functioning of the cattle and other livestock markets, end of quote. While I appreciate the actions from White House and Secretary Vilsack, it is now time for Congress to act. As the nation's number one producer of meat, Iowans rely on market information provided by the mandatory price reporting. Uh, to, and they need that information to run their businesses. The reauthorization of the mandatory price reporting is the vehicle available where we can add additional price transparency and price discovery measures and that's what I'm advocating. Over the past 18 months, we've seen massive price discrepancies between fed cattle and box beef. This is pushing cattle producers and feeders to the brink of having to sell their operations. The four major meat packing companies control 80 to 85% of cattle slaughtering. These companies have the advantage of procuring cattle from thousands of producers. Uh, these companies can also act as a cho choke point for the entire industry. Given the critical nature of their operations, these packers dominate the marketplace and limit opportunities for price negotiation. According to USDA, for every $1 Americans spend on food, only 14 and 3 tenths percent goes to the farmers. Meanwhile, the retail price of beef for consumers has increased and remained high, and every consumer knows that. I want to make clear that I'm not upset about paying more for beef. I'm upset because farmers are not making a profit. And while some participants in the third panel will say otherwise, I want to make it clear there is no denying we need serious reform in the way our country markets cattle. I believe that my bill, commonly referred to as 5014, would create the price transparency that's needed in the marketplace. My colleague, Senator Fisher of Nebraska, has a bill that would help as well. Ultimately, Senator Fisher and I are working on a compromise that can unite the industry because kicking the can down the road is not an option. I hear constantly from Iowa cattle feeders, we need help now. The beef industry employs hundreds of thousands of hardworking men and women who work each day to help feed our country and the world. I'm in front of you today to ask that you join with me and other senators on the Senate Agriculture Committee in, in including real reforms in mandatory price reporting. Cattlemen across the country are counting on all of us. Thank you, Chairman Scott, and please take my, uh, what we talked about last summer, 
into consideration as you look at this change in this bill. I thank you very much.